Hello and welcome back to another episode of MLB The Show 17, Minnesota Twins Franchise Mode. Eric, MN Twins 28 here. How you doing, everybody? We're on episode 10. Well, I've simmed ahead. We are in the month of June, about middle of June, I believe. And yeah, we're on the 16th of June. And the Twins are 500, 33 and 33. It has not been pretty, as you can see. Uh, I've lost a few games already in the month of June. They've lost seven games and won, let's see, four, six. So they got a little work to do. We're on a home stand here now with Cleveland. So we're going to play a game there and the White Sox. So let's just kind of look at what happened here. They started this month off losing three of four to the Angels. And then they got swept out of Seattle. So not very good. Played San Francisco, swept them, and then we played Seattle again and won three out of four there. So we did get a little bit of paybacks against Seattle. So now we're playing Cleveland, and then the White sucks. So that'll be fun. Uh, a couple of roster moves I had to make. Um, some guys got cleared of the disabled list, and some guys got put on the disabled list. Here's the disabled list. Um, Gavin Floyd down in AAA pulled the growing. He's out for a few few days. Um, as you can see by his numbers, he's 0-1 with a 6.43 ERA, 5 strikeouts. So he's kind of, nah, he's okay. We're going to hold off on his call-up just yet. He's still kind of warming up. Alex Kirilov, this is uh, this is not good for us. A cartilage damage in the knee, he's out for a couple months. Uh, he's got one time, looks like one day left. Uh, we need to move that. I'm going to put him on the 60-day DL. So he's out for a while, and of course, here's our other guys, which we already know about. Kenny's Vargas, he's coming off in about nine days. Nico, he's got 18 days. Parks, another month. Gonzalez is a week away. Gordon's 20 days away. And then Kirillov. So, yeah, we're pretty banged up down in the minor, especially the lookouts. So that hurts. Um, draft picks are all signed. I signed them all up. Our number one through seven picks are signed. Contracts were all one-year deals under $100,000. Fernando Juarez, our number one overall pick, a C potential, 69. Right fielder Diaz, he's a D potential. But seems to have some good speed and stuff, so we can use that to our advantage. Maybe improve the, the bunting abilities. We'll work on that. Use his speed in contact. We'll get that up. Third baseman Flores. He's a C potential, so that's nice to see. I like the right side of the screen there. You see the 82. The good fielding. Decent speed. I like the discipline, the vision, and the clutch. It's in the upper 60s. The clutch is in the lower 60s, but it's still pretty good. It's above average. So I think we can work. We're going to teach him to be more of a contact hitter. I think that'll be good. So I like... I think he's going to be a, one of the steals of the early part of the draft. Umberto Lopez, he's a D potential, 73. We'll see how we can do with him. This is the steal of the draft right here, I think. It's a four. Uh, there's Mark Harrington. He's a relief pitcher. He's a B potential, 57 overall. He has four pitches. He's a lefty. He's got great velocity. Look at that velocity. A 99. He's going to be awesome. So I think this is our steal of the draft right here. Got a potential to be 80, so that's good. Here's another steal, possibly. A Russ Newman, even though he's a he's also a B potential. Uh, four he has four pitches. He's a left-handed pitcher. So I like this pick. And then David Song, our final pick. He's got great speed, but he lacks everywhere else. But I think we're going to work with him. He's going to be a project. He's probably going to take a few years to develop. So that's that. That's what's going on there. Now let's check. Hang on. A... Dodgers. Okay, so here's the deal. We had some issues with players struggling, mostly the catchers. So I did a complete overall on the catchers. Take a look at what I did. Chris Jimenez has been recalled from AAA Rochester to the Twins. He's been doing really well. And he is the new catcher, starting catcher for the Minnesota Twins. Jason Castro went into a major cold spell. He's batting 211. I sent him to AAA to get his shit going. Wrecker was hitting under 100. I sent him to to 
Chattanooga. Rolfing is back in Fort Myers because there's no room for anybody else for him. And then I promoted Andrew Kidsner, the guy I signed free agency a while back, from Chattanooga to AAA to take um, Rolfing's spot. So let's go to the lineups. And here's the Twins lineup, as you can see. Jemidis is in the lineup now. He's a starting catcher. Garver's still with us, even though he's hitting under 200. I want to see if he could turn around a little bit. I'm going to give him some more starts. But Chris Jimenez is the guy right now. And Triple A, Castro is going to be the everyday starter. I want to get his stuff going and see if he can turn around. Gitzner, there you see he's on the bench. He'll get his chances, I'm sure. And Double A... Ben Rotvelt is the number one starter, and he's doing good, 261. And then there you see Wrecker. I sent him down. He was struggling bad. So he's in double A, and he'll be against... Uh, Wrecker will start against left-handers, which I believe... Where is he? Oh, that's... Oh, excuse me. I'm in the minor leagues. That's the triple A. There's Brecker right there. Yeah, I got him starting against lefties. So, yeah, I made some changes. I didn't make any other changes to the roster. Let's take a look at the stats right now. Mid-June, Buxton hitting 220. He's cooled off considerably. I'll keep an eye on that. Dozier's heating up. I like that. Sano's 250. Mono's heating up a little bit. He's got nine home runs. Maurer's doing okay. Kepler's 230. Granite's starting to heat up again. He was in the lower 200s earlier. Now he's up to 274. And of course, Jimenez. And there you see Eddie Bizar or Eddie es Eduardo Escobar is hitting 286. Polanco is slowly getting up right back to the Mendoza line, hitting 196. Pagan's hitting 300. Ramirez is struggling. Robbie Grossman's doing well, 353. And Mitch Garver, of course, we saw him earlier. In AAA, Vielma's hitting crap. Coco Chris, 231. Pelka's hitting 247. Washington's doing okay. Eddie Rosario's still cool, 232. And then you see the rest of the stats of those guys. All the bench players not doing too well in Rochester. So here's double A. Wade's doing good. Royce Lewis is heating up. He's hitting 281. Adam Walker is hitting 292. Nice to see that. And hopefully he continues. Blankenhorn's cooled off. Chase, the guy we got in trade not too long ago, hitting 205. Hogg is hitting 265. Cabbage is doing well in the DH spot. Levi Michael struggling. Wrecker. Jose Miranda. Ooh. Let's see Blankenhorn. Yeah. Let's make a change here. Blankenhorn's. Kind of struggling. Cabbage, he's a, so he's a third baseman. All right, let's put him there. And let's put Miranda in. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put Cabbage in at third since he's doing so well at DH. Let's get him some at-bats here. And then I'll put this Miranda guy in. Okay. Then Badu, was it 273? Adrianza, he's actually heating things up a little bit. He's looking good here at 218. He's not an everyday player, so that might be why he's doing well. I'm actually going to put Adrianza in. I'm going to have him start playing second base. So Now that he's hitting good, let's see what he can do in the field. So we'll bench Michaels, and I'm going to keep Adrianza at the bottom of the lineup. Okay, so that's what we're standing for. Bench player or uh, hitting uh, position players and bench players. So here's the, here's the pitching rotations. Urban Santana seven and six, two point nine eight. He's okay. Barrios four and three, four oh eight ERA. Gibson's two and one. Jaime Garcia. Why is Gibson in the rotation? Oh, Gavin Floyd's hurt. That's why. Okay. That's why. Okay. PV two sixty five. So. Everybody's hanging in there. Bartolo Colon is doing okay. Meyer doing well. 
1.76 ERA. Bo Shears, 1.10. He's doing okay. Belial, Perkins. So everybody's hanging in there um, in Minnesota. Santiago, numbers aren't good. Terrible. Um, I might make a move on him. Heston, he's hanging in there. Duffy, who I just sent down not too long ago. No numbers. Sledgers. And Mahia. Burnett, he's doing okay. Hurlbert, average. Minnesota guy, seems to be okay. 11 innings pitched, 7 strikeouts. Got an ERA, almost 5. We got to work on that. Trevor May, hanging in there. Taylor Rogers, much better than his numbers in Minnesota. Remember, his numbers were 27. That was bad. So he's turning things around in AAA. It's nice to see. Burdai, look at that ERA. Perfect. Love to see that. Down in uh, Chattanooga, Cole Stewart hanging in there, as is Romero, who just came off the DL. He had some issues. Armento Rose, do good. Jorge is looking okay. He already a little high, and this is Tyler Watson. Jake Reed, he's got a high ERA, and he's a 1-5. in five. Not good. Tonkin, ERA's almost mid-3s, 3-0. Decent. Hildenberg looking great. He's the pitcher we hope to be, and he's a B potential. That's great to see. I like that. Rosario, almost five ERA. He needs to work on that. Strikeouts look good, though. Sharkwai, okay. And Wimmers, high ERA, but he's hanging in there. So, pitching is about where we expected it to be. So, let's get into the next series. Cleveland got a night game on the MLB Network against the Cleveland Indians. This is going to be fun. And we're going to have Barrios on the mound. We're going to play a full game. I do not like the red outfits. We're going to We're going to change that. I just don't like them never have never will. Okay. Target field. Clear skies. Let's go overcast. Gibby's pitching, or um, Barrios is pitching. And holy crap, we got guys that are tired. Wow. This is not pretty. Okay, so Maurer's going to get the day off because he's tired. Um, let's get Escobar. Let's get Polanco in there and we'll flop him with. Escobar. There. Polanco hit that short. Escobar to third. Kepler needs a night off. And Granite needs a night off. Oof. Put Bagan out there. And Grossman. Actually swap those two. I think Bagan can play the left field. Grossman's a lefty fielder. Okay, yeah, Pagan and right. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Garver. I want to see what Gem Geminis can do. It's his first call up, so we're going to see what he can do. Garver's on the bench, and Ramirez is on the bench. We'll be able to be used. The, the other t the other guys I'm not going to use unless we get an emergency. So now I'm going to switch the lineup a little bit. Let's put... Okay, Polanco does not need to hit that high. So let's put Grossman's hitting 353. I'm going to put him in the five slot. Pagan can hit six. Polanco is still hitting pretty crappy. So we'll put him in the nine hole. Geminis can hit eighth. Eduardo's hitting 286. So that's a good lineup. Buxton's kind of struggling a little bit here. But he's still got 90 speed. So we'll, we'll give him a chance here. If this continues, though, and his average continues to drop, we may have to drop Bucks down the lineup a little bit. And so, Eduardo Escobar, 58. Let's see in here. Uh, Jorge Polanco has been slumping against right-handed hit hitters. No. 
I could hit. I could play Alexi Ramirez. Yeah. All right. We'll do that then. Okay. I guess we'll do that. My Ramirez is. Ramirez will be fine. Mitch Garver. No. Skip. I need to see Jimenez. Garver will get some playing time. I'll probably pitch him in the next game, or I'll probably play him in the next game. So, here we go. So we're at a 500 record. We need to get going here. Indians are ahead of us at 37 and 29. So we need to do some damage here against the rival Indians. And Friday night baseball from the Twin Cities. Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, the first of this three-game we weekend series between the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Jose Barrios, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico, will be the starter. What's your take on him, H? Well, Matt, the last three outings, he's allowed a lot of base runners, and all you got to do is look at his whip. It's over 1-4. When you have that, you're going to have a tough outing. He's got to get that number all right, here we go. and keep the traffic off the base. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Ramirez. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. And H, we take a look at the Twins as they begin play here tonight. They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, man. I mean, it's been a pretty good homestead. Bye bye. Oh right no, Buxton. Got it. Nice, nice catch. Kind of separates them. That's why today's game is important. Now a moment here for the Indians well, starting lineup. Danny, who stands out right. to you? Michael well, I know Bradley. these pitchers are going to be very careful when dealing with Jason oh, Kipnis. His batting average is on the rise right now. And if you look yeah, at his last Kipnis 10 games, you know why? He's hitting over 350 yeah. in that span. So he's found his groove. He hasn't he's met me yet. <laughs> right now. Well, he has. Just he hasn't seen me in a while. In for strike two. Ooh, nice pitch. All right, let's try. I'm going to see if I can get him on that chase on that curveball here on the outside corner. Here we go. That nasty curve. Boom. Ooh. Ball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if nice you can hit the pitch. corner with it, but no dice this time. All right. Grossman will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Batting third. All right, let's see what we can do against this guy here. Twins are actually uh, playing the Indians right now. It's uh, August 16th as I'm filming this game, and we're actually playing the Indians and got our asses kicked last night. Ooh, nice pitch. He's not messing around this inning. He's attacking the zone. He's showing lots of confidence. He's 0-2 on this hitter after having two quick outs. Nice job. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Damn Sliced it. hard on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Why weren't you covering first base? I could have threw him out. out. <laughs> I've done that sometimes. Get out of this inning pretty easy, and now you put him in a stretch. The middle of this lineup is no joke. He can find himself in danger real quick. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to strike somebody out now. Swing and a soft liner. Nice catch, Dozier. All right. Good job. So the two-out hit didn't didn't hurt us. It's the tribe nothing. Twins coming to bat. Back after this on MLB Network. Adam Pletko gets the call for game one of the series. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's one of these guys that's going to battle. He sticks around the game long enough where you pick up a win like he did last Ah, Buxton. First pitch. But he stayed in the game. Where he's struggling. That's not good. Maybe we'll see that type of performance from him today because he's that type of pitcher. A chance now from Target Field to take a look at the Twins lineup in this one. HR, what's the key in trying to stop their opponent's winning streak? Well, Matt, I really like this offense. You know, in their top third oh, home bull runs, crap. so they can beat you that way. They put pressure on you. This is a really good ball club, but I do like how they have guys throughout the lineup that can hit the ball in the park. Hits base hit. Hard All right. Away. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Well, that's a good sign, him getting a base hit. He's been struggling quite a bit. He's in the two-hole, going to get some good pitches to hit. Maybe this is the start of him getting hot. Here's Miguel Sano. Power is a big part of his game, of course, entering the contest fifth in the American League home run race. 
He's set and the pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. He swung so hard, I don't know how he stayed on his feet or kept his helmet Come on, so no. Fall down, he swung so hard. You need a helm run swing. here. Hit hard oh, I just line. missed. But this will wind up a wow. Strike two. They're throwing him change-ups. Nothing but change-ups, change-ups, change-ups. Probably getting him to try and ground out. Ah, oh, like that. Shit. Scooped up. Katniss. Ah, he's safe. Get, and the inning will continue. Bet you that was a change up. I'll have to look up in back now, at that later when I get up. back to Sano. Yeah, see really his uh, the at bat there before he starts his next one. Oh boy. Oh! Should have crushed that. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle hard. Like oh, we got a hit though, so that's good. Okay, Grossman, let's see what you can do here. Hope I can get him to uh, maybe hit one to the opposite field here. Here's Robbie Grossman. Up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Yeah, we're not going to run on that. That's a, if it was Buxton at third, I may have done it, but it's not. So, Come on, Pagan. How about a home run here? Oh, he caught it. Oh, he didn't catch it. Oh, go, baby, go. Go, 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 go. All right. Three run trip. Oh. Wow. I thought that was going to be caught. Ooh, Buxton would have caught that easily. Nice job, Pagan. That's what I like to see. He knows if he can keep hitting the way he's playing and play, well, he'll get that. He'll get to keep that uh, roster spot and maybe steal that left field job away from Rosario, who's still in AAA and struggling. All right, Rosario. All right, not Rosario, Escobar. Okay, Jimenez, let's see what you can do. You got called up because you've been hitting good. Been going first pitch swinging. First, first, uh, first pitch swinging. All right. Gun. Oh, he caught it. Wow. That was good contact, though, so we'll give Chris that. It was a good hit just right at somebody. Four run first. Very nice. All right. We're going to fast forward, and we're going to go next half inning. And Kipnis walks, of course. Kipnis has been thrown out. Nice. Okay. Alexi Ramirez. Here's the shortstop, Alexi Ramirez. He needs to get going here. He's been struggling since we signed him. Oh, uh, bad. Shouldn't have swung that. Shortstops need to make... Need to uh, get going here. This team is really going to be busy today. You look at how this pitcher's been struggling all season all you got to do is look at that era that tells me he's given up a lot of balls hit and the defense is going to be very very busy in this one swinging a ball hit on the ground but this is foul for the first strike one out nobody on come on guys that's in the dirt and that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. One, one. Here it comes on one and one. Slap hard the oh, opposite Buxton. way. Jackson is wow. right there as he takes it for the second out. Well, this second one was squared up two. pretty good, but Brian just like pitchers Tozier. give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. Here's Brian Dozier now. Ah, that was bare, but it's terrible. Strike one. Two outs here. Let's get something going here. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, oh late. Off and he's quickly behind 0-2. Oh, right there. Sometimes you can just miss a ball. Doesn't mean you have to swing and miss, but that ball's right in this wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He yeah, missed it sucks. It. Yeah, he missed it all right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Down go the twin. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> All right.
click ahead. Next inning. Fly out to Grossman, a walk. Single. Force out. Hit by a pitch and a fly out. Still no runs given up. Good. All right, here's Sano. Let's we'll see what that pitch was. I think it was a changeup. No, it was a fastball on the outside. Interesting. Oh, right down the middle. That's trouble. Oh, I've ran out of juice. Wow. Nice running play, and there's one away. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ball game here today. That's disgusting. We had a two-game lead, and then we were behind now. Minnesota third, and here's the left-handed hitting power threat, Justin Morneau. Morneau had a pitch last at bat. He should have crushed just like that one. A swing and a miss. Well, he swung right through that on that changeup. The changeup is a tough pitch to swing at for the first pitch because you haven't measured his velocity. Right at the guy. You don't know Jeez. what you're going to see coming their direction. But right at the shortstop for the uh, second Hilbert, out. Robbie Grossman. Even he knows he's struggling. It's like Robbie good Grossman. gravy. He singled his last time up. Because the big question at the end of the season is, will he or will he not way. retire? Grounded to third. Oh. Ramirez is up with it. That was terrible. In plenty of time, and the side is retired. Twins are down. All right, next half inning. Single to right. Call down on strikes. Fly to right. Grounds out to Barrios. Very nice. All right. Here's Pagan. He got that three-run triple last time. Base hit. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the Twins put their leadoff hitter on to get the inning started. Another first pitch hit. Man, they're going up there aggressive, looking for that first pitch fast. Boy, Pagan's really come through. I'm really pleased with him. All right, let's see what we can do here with Escobar. Let's see here. Guy's playing back. I may be able to Standing bunt. in now, Eduardo Escobar. Now a bunt attempt here. And they will get Hey, him. safe. He's All right. A very close play nice first. play. Ready for He's Jimenez. Chris Jimenez. Okay. I think I'm going to have him game. bunt over, too, now and then I can, the get, I can get the next guy. To up. Trying to give Oops. himself up here, but this is foul, so the runners will return. They're still not playing in. Wow. And he pops up oh. the attempt, but this will get He's a terrible. Oh, and two, here it is. Contact swing. Right field. On the move is Jackson. Uh -uh. He's there Nothing. And the first that was terrible. Wow. That was a bad at bat. Terrible. At the plate, Alexi Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here we go. <laughs> First pitch of the at bat. Takes this the other there way. There you go. Right. God so damn it. Right at somebody again. Right as he hauls this Jeez, these are the killing us. Down. These little line drives that keep hanging up. The center fielder, number 25. Here's Byron Buxton now. Two guys on, nobody out. Now I got two guys on still with two outs. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And right at the guy, of course. Boy, Buxton's struggling. Wow. That's pathetic. Two guys on, I couldn't do nothing. That's ridiculous. And another base hit to lead off again. Double play. All right. Time to join this one now in the bottom of inning number five. Come on, Doge. Here's Brian Dozier now. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Now Dozier with a destroyed it. Nice line drive home run. Nice to see Dozier getting some hits. Touch them all, Brian Dozier. I'm going to say three. Three. Fifty-six. Three fifty-six. 
423, really? That deep? That didn't look all that deep. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. Oh, so you 377 in the gap. Okay, I guess so. We'll I wasn't paying attention to the sign there. <laughs> come on, come on, Sano. Oh, baby. That's gone. You cannot leave that there. That one's a upper deck shot. That's going to be like 437. Uh, 432. 432. Yep, I'm going to go 432 for Sano. Back to back jacks. Why? You can't leave that there. He will park that every time. Oh, I was off by just a few feet. That was a good guess. 432, I said, that is only uh, six feet off. That's not bad. Wow, look at that. Wow. Boom. Upper jack shot. Yep, here he comes. The Indians manager to make that slow trip to the mound. Zach McAllister. And it looks right. as though that's going to be all. So the Twins are up 6 here nothing. Tonight. here's Morneau. Zach McAllister is going to take over here in inning number 5, so it'll be a bullpen game from here. Morneau on with one in deep left. Uh-oh. That's gone. Oh my. That was a wall scraper, so I'll be about 341 or 340. I say 342. Yeah, just barely got out. So 342. Yeah, number 10 of the year for Morneau. He did a mower power there. He went opposite the field. 342. 354. Really? Wow. It was deeper than I thought it was. Well, they say hit is contagious, but I didn't know home runs were. Third home run in a row by this team. They have got it working right now. Wow, that went deeper than I thought it was. I thought that was a wall scraper. Seven nothing twins now. It's good. Here's Robbie Grossman. Looks like we got this one in hand. As he swings and lifts. That was a contact swing. Brantley is under it. Makes the play one away. Up next for Minnesota. Right Ready once again. Angel Pagan. Okay, here's Pagan. Triple and a single. Here comes the first pitch. Whoa, Swing what am I swinging at? I accidentally hit the button. That was my fault. That That's a perfect pitch. Didn't, pitch wasn't supposed to happen. Out of the zone. You can't do anything with that. Didn't mean to swing at that. That's just kind of. A swing and a drive oh my God! Are you kidding me? Back no way! The off the wall! He no the wow! Wall. He's got. He he's a homer for away from the cycle. Wow! Wow! When you're swinging the bat like he is, you want the game to go to extra so you can get some more abs. That's his third hit of the game, and his swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. He needs a home run for the cycle. Wow. Pagan is hitting well. I might have to start to inserting him in the lineup on a regular basis here. He is just tearing the cover off the ball. And now a bunt Whoa, here as he gets right this at him. Uh, this oh, gets it's foul. foul. It's 0 and 1. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Reaches down nope, and hits this bad one idea. on the ground to short. On to first and there were two down. Trying to go opposite field and then it just went short. That was a bad, Coming bad at bat. Come on, Jimenez. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Smoke toward the hole. And this still on three. Throw in time and the side is retired. All right, we're really having some troubles at catcher. I can't stand this guy. I'm gonna beat him. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. And wow, that looked to be well inside, but it's a called strike. Two and one now. To two and two now. Set to deal on there two we and go. two. Bye bye. 
Boom. See ya. <laughs> Love it. That's awesome. I don't like him at all. He's so freaking cocky. So I'm glad I struck his ass out. Okay, let's sim the rest. Back to Barrios. Strike out. We'll join this one here in the bottom of the sixth. Okay, Ramirez, you need to get going. If he doesn't get going soon, we're going to have to figure out something at shortstop because I don't know what else we're going to do. Shortstop and catcher are two areas of concern. How can you miss that? It was right down Broadway. Wow. Here it comes. Hit hard down the right field line. But that's ah. a foul ball. That was good contact, and he still missed. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he got ah, it. Of course. Wow. He is really struggling. Digging in to try it again. Come on, Buxton. Byron Buxton. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch coming. Here it is. And right at somebody, yeah, of course. Gets him, two down. The second baseman, number trying to pick things up. All right, right Dozier. Last Ryan time you Dozier. crushed one. Here we go. Matchup. Here's another one. In at Gone. Can't leave it there. Oh, he turns another one around here. Wow, that's and way out of there. I don't even know where it landed. 465. I'm just going to throw a number out there. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second of the game as they have widened this lead to eight now. 465. I, I don't know where it landed, so I'm going to say it's that deep. 437, really? Where the hell did it land? Well, as a team, they've gone yard four times. And this guy's a oh, that was way over there. Memo to all pitchers the rest of the game. Really? It went that deep? Plate, you might want to pitch That's 437? I don't think so. Whatever. Okay, see if they make another mistake to, to know. Ooh, almost. It's weird considering I, can, I selected that one and I missed. And right at somebody, of course. To retire the side. Wow. So here's okay. Fast forward. Single to left, of course. Single. Off, well, lead off singles are killing us, but we're seem to be getting out of it, so that's a good thing. So we got we're in the seventh inning. We're Here, bottom of we'll six now. In this one and rejoin the action in the bottom of the seventh. Morneau, we're in seventh. Here's Justin Morneau. He homered earlier. We're gonna let Rios go another point. inning here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. in, in and out that one. But he's out because he's slow poke. Let's try it here. Now batting. Left fielder. Ready for another shot Robbie. now. It's Grossman hitting here. 351. He's doing pretty good. Gon's got a chance for the He's cycle on deck. On one for three thus far. This is on the ah. ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Right fielder number 16. That was disgusting. Angel Pagan. So stepping in, Angel Pagan. And Triple, he'll double, the single. cycle if he can blast one over the wall here. Right hander starts to loosen out. Oh the my god, are you kidding me? Oh, he didn't get it. He got a hit though. Oh, oh I should have crushed that motherfucker. He'll get a double though. Two doubles, a single, and a triple. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit. Oh, I should have crushed that. Now, this is a perfect example of a wily veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it. He stays inside the ball and is able to Oh man, I should have crushed that son of a bitch. That was a beach ball. Wow, how did I miss Stepping that? In now, Eduardo Escobar. Ah, That's another in and out. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. He did that now twice now. Jan Gomes. He leads Let's see, 84 the pitches. Eight. Okay, I'm going to have to pitch for him because the, the computer will probably yeah, in switch us. Eighth inning here. Ah. 
Nice pitch. Let's see what the bullpen's looking like. Gavin Floyd. I don't want to pitch him because he's on the injured list. Belisle. Let's get Boshears warmed up. But Shears and Belial, yeah. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. So definitely like uh, combination right there. Barrios so is the last ball, inning. Here. And now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. See if the guy Again, can get this one or Grossman. Play. Nope. Guns and right field. Look at that. Come on. Swing Got him. On the fastball, and that's the first out. There's a look at our line score showing the home standing twins on top here in Minneapolis as they look to close this one out. Jose Ramirez nice pitch. comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0-1. Oh, and nice. And he still may not be comfortable. Even 0-1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. This is that a big nice. pitch right here. Her ball. Man, they've all seen him at ah. this point. And clearly, they're not picking him up much better. Do you see the swing on that pitch right there? Nasty. This guy's such a good hitter. I get the feeling, even when he's down 0-2 in the count like he was here, he's still ah, it's too much plate the there. Michael, when he's facing Michael. anybody. All right, let's check the bull mom visit here. That time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Okay, we got a lefty. Looks like they're all ready. Let's bring in Bushiers. So good job. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he was able to only get that first out in the eighth, but nonetheless, he'll depart with the lead. Yeah, that's, that's good timing. Your attention, so Mahler makes the move, and we're going to go so to Boshears. Buddy Boshears. We'll get him warmed up here the rest of the way. Looks like he's ready. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's Michael Brantley as he takes a called strike on the black. It's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. So Barrios goes seven in the third inning. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 so, now. So very good outing. This guy's good got a quality great start. Sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it to the dirt and turn one over for you. Yeah, Ramirez it was a slow-moving play, so we got the one run. Okay. And King Arcion, I'm bringing in Belial. Matt Belial enters from the pen to begin the frame with a sizable lead with which to work. Here comes the first pitch. Leaves a slider right over the middle. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Oh, yeah. Come on, one more. Let's get the sweeping curve. Here's the 0 2. Rip down the first. Oh, base so line. no. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men. All right, that's all right. Base hit right there. Now they got two Not a home run, that's fine. The best opportunity Carlos to get on the Santana. board. They've been shut out the whole game. Here's Carlos Santana now. And that misses. Wow, that was a strike. Use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Really, Ump? You're going to start squeezing my pitchers now? Well, better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike. I'm not losing it. It's the umpire like fucking me over. Right there. you know he's keyholing you too. Oh, and you there put you one right on the corner. He's not Fastball going to right by him. Here we go. Boom! The count again. Oh, Let's shit. The other way to left center. Oh, yeah. Grossman. Grossman's got it. And a boy. Ends the inning. Okay. Didn't give up the lead, thank God. <laughs> so All right, Jimenez is getting pulled here. Off as they look to I'm putting Garver in here. Sizable lead. Number 47. He's going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to Number set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Right up the middle. All right. And they start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. So their half of the eighth opens with a man aboard. Well, they put up a lot of runs the whole game. He needed that because he was 
He's, he's struggling. Buxton needs a hit here. No, that's not Buxton's Ramirez. Yeah, he needs to get going too. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Eight runs, 14 hits, and no errors in the ball game for Minnesota. Late on the fastball. That's yeah, gonna be cat. Right. Jeez, he is struggling. Steps, but he has it for route number one. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice We're about definitely got to, to make up. a roster move on him. This has just not been Here's a good thing here for us with him. Last time up. From the stretch. Boy, not even Whoa. Close with oh, that, I hit the wrong button. I was trying one. to. I was Runner supposed to hit the button button and I hit the contact one instead. Looks like they're expecting bunt. He's in on the third. Almost even with the bag. Oh and one here it comes. Oh and this just jumps off the bat. That's here. home run. Right wow, that's a way to, get off, way to get off the Schneid. Way to go, Bucks, and touch them all. Wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to get a hit down the line. Well, I hit one opposite field, but I hit a little higher than I thought. Oh, 405. <laughs> Didn't even guess. All right. Cool. Here's Brian Dozier. Boxton. Or uh, Dozier, excuse me. So the top four guys. Or top five guys. Yeah, so no hit one. I think Dozier. Yeah, more no hit one, too. So one, two, three, four. My top four guys, hitters one through four, have all hit home runs. How about that? Again. What the fuck was that? I just love them. Yeah, it's away, not going to be anything. I was hoping Jackson to get the Pagan again, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Two gone. Looks like I got a two out threat here going. Now batting. Sano's coming up. Digging in once again. Miguel Sano. Yeah, I dared him to throw the one up in the. Okay, you asked for it. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Sano will head for second. Nice. And he will stroll in there standing with a two out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's All right, here we He's going to get. Extra bases. We'll see now if this um, game proves to be hit, a huge turning here. point. For yeah. Him. Oh, I got Grossman I got to get through to. Actually, no, Morneau's going to keep staying there. That's gone. You cannot leave those there. Destroyed. 415. Bucks didn't hit one there on a 405, so I'm going to say it's... Probably a little deeper than that, so about 4:15. Two-run home run off the bat of Justin Morneau, his second home run of the game as the blowout continues. 4:15. Really? Buxton hit the same spot. It was 405. That's only 3.99. I don't buy that. It's getting pretty comical now. Their sixth home run of the game, and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious, and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's Come on, Grossman, get on base for Pagan. Here's Robbie Grossman, skied into. He's got one. Go, go, go! Oh, he made the catch. Pagan will not get a chance for the home run. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that was a get. That was a great ride. All right, here we go. Ninth inning. What's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been. Can't believe it. Shut the bastards down. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands. In this one. On there, nice the pitch. Down on strikes for the second wow. Strike zone's widening, so folks. Francisco Lindor now. Francisco He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Now a swing and a ground ball, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Another one sent foul. 
Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Got him. And he strike. goes down on strikes for the third time. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Yeah. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was now, way behind him when Center the swing came through the zone. Bradley. I have to think he was looking Zimmer. for something off speed. And he just that was a bad pitch. On that fastball. Uh, let's do Zimmer. slider. In with two away as he takes a ball, one and oh. And there we go. Slider in there, one and one. Okay, do another one. A little lower. And now pitch on the way. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the Ooh. lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Taking there we go. Strike two, and now they're down to their final Let's do that sweeping curve. Here we go. Come on, Belial. Strike to side out. And he oh, I missed him. Three, two, Bad pitch. pitch. Misses. It's ball four. All right, Austin Jackson <laughs> up. Again. Austin Jackson, lifetime versus this pitcher, one for five. Fastball. Well, Lyle's getting there. tired. Great. Get a bullpen warmed up here. See what Gavin Floyd can do. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. And this will be a called strike Whoa. two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Her ball. Good night. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Struck a side out. Here. Nice the job, Belial. Well, nice exactly win for the guys. Right. Big win for the guys. Nice. Well, six home runs like that. Like that. It saved your closer for another day. Pagan had a great well, game at the plate. He's probably most likely going to be the player of the game, if not Barrios. So, we did good. Very nice pitching effort from Barrios. Bullpen took over and did a good job. Got the door done. Uh, slammed the door down. So, we got the shutout. 12 to nothing. Only gave up seven hits. So, very nice work, guys. And Morneau was the player of the game. Wow. I'm kind of surprised. He was three for five with two homers, but Pagan was four for four. Yeah, he didn't get a home run. But okay. Nice job, Justin Morneau. So, I think we'll call good on this episode. And, uh... Well, actually, I think what I'm going to do here... Before we shut down here, I'm going to check something. Let's see here. What's we'll Sim ahead to Monday off? Gam Floyd's no longer injured. Uh, yes. So we took two or three of them from Cleveland. Cologne got the win on Sunday. Gavin Floyd lost, so he's not doing too good. It's Monday morning, and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting in the American League Central, the Minnesota Twins knocked out 12 hits as a team as they bested the visiting Indians 7-6. to six. Looking at the standings, the Twins are in second place in the AL Central, and the Indians are atop the AL Central. The Toronto right, Blue James. Jays cracked 16 hits on the All day right, let's as they take took a look down the Chai Sox in front of the home crowd. Here. I'm going to take a look one. at something here. Heading into today, Gam the Blue Jays back, but he's not doing too place good. in the American League East Division, while the White Sox sit in last Gibson's place in the American League Central well Division. Either. The Detroit Tigers put together 10 hits total as they beat the visiting Rays 5-2. Triple A. Right now, the Tigers sit in third Oof. place in the American League Central, while the Rays sit in second place in the American League East Division. Why isn't Duffy playing? The Angels knocked out 10 hits as a team as they dethroned the Royals 9 to nothing. It was their fifth straight victory. As of today, the Angels sit in third place in the American League West Division. Okay, so and the Royals are in here? fourth place in the AL Central. Sledgers. The Cardinals got 12 hits in this one as they beat the O's in Baltimore 4 to 1. At the moment, the Orioles are in last I place call in if the anybody AL I want. East. And okay, the basically Cardinals that. sit in second place in the National League Central. The New York Yankees Sledgers allowed starting five next. hits in the game Mahia. as they dismantled the A's 10 to 2. For the Looking twins. at the standings, PB. the A's sit in last place in the American League West Division, and the Yankees are in third place Sledgers. in the AL East. 
The Texas Rangers brought out the brooms in a three game So I'm going to make some changes here. We got to change some rosters around here. We got some guys struggling and some guys that are not cutting it. Gavin Floyd struggling a little bit. Place in the American League West. Gibson struggling, and then in the, year, the lineup, of course, Houston, Ramirez has nothing. just been dreadful. Yeah, Grossman's doing good, Pagan's still doing well, Polanco's hanging in there. The Red Sox, so we're definitely going to make some roster Eastern moves division. here. The Atlanta Braves got 11 overall hits as they beat the visiting Marlins 8-3. In more news out of Miami, the Elma still stinks. JT Riddle will not be in the lineup for the next couple of days. He is dealing with a strained calf muscle. Right now, the Braves sit in fourth Castro's place in the National League East Division, while the Marlins right are after in third a game or two down the there. East. Oliver Perez collected win number two on the year, leading Washington to a win against the Mets. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some roster moves, and then I'll show you guys what we did. I did in the next episode, and then we'll continue to continue things going on. Adam Walker looking good, 289. That's nice. Royce Lewis is heating things up. It's nice to see. He is not on the 40, man. So, uh, yeah, I'll make some roster moves. are in fourth place in the NL East. And the Diamondbacks are leading the National League West. The Dodgers and uh, we'll uh, continue this on the next episode. If you like this episode, hit the like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next episode, episode 12. Until next time. Jimmy Nelson grabbed Peace win out. number six on Go the year, Twins.